Hi, George here. You make a lot of files, like I make a lot of videos here for YouTube. It's important to have a good backup system so you don't lose any of that valuable work. And recently I've been taking a look at the mini tool Shadow Maker, a real easy to use and very powerful backup software program. On the home screen, you get basic information about your backups. Left hand side, your backup sources. Right hand side is information about how much space is available on your different drives. Your last backup is listed right down here. You can back up now to that same backup if you want to. If you have any scheduled backups, you should be seeing those right down here. And if you have any restore images available, they'll be shown over here. I have three backups at this point. Below the home page, we have backup, sync, restore, manage, logs, and tools. Backup is your main area for backing up your files. And of course, restore is your main area for restoring those back onto your computer. Syncing allows you to synchronize locations. Manage allows you to work with your backup files. Logs, of course, will be showing you the log files of what you've done. And there are some more additional tools down here that you may find very useful. Let's see how easy it is to make a backup in here. We'll go up here to the backup tab. First, choose your files. You want to back up. Click on that. You can choose your disk or partitions. If you want to back up a whole disk or a partition, or you can choose individual folders and files. We'll do that. You can look into your user directory or your computer or your libraries. Let's do a backup here for my C drive. We'll click on that. Then I have my folders listed here in the C drive. And I'll back up my Elements Plus folder right here. You can check as many or as few as you like. Come down to OK. Let's now look at our destination folder. Notice that this is the default destination folder. Minitool Shadow Maker automatically gives you one to use. This is the next drive up from drive C. And it gives us a backup data. And that's perfect. You always want to be backing up to a different drive from your source drive. And that's in case the source drive goes south. You can then move over to your backup drive and your file is safe. Down here we have some options. You can choose to set up compression if you want to. Medium compression will make your file sizes a bit smaller but it takes a little bit more time for the backup. High compression makes your file sizes the smallest possible, but it takes a lot more time to do the backup. I'm just sticking with none right now. If you want to, you can password protect your backups. You're also gonna choose how you want to have your backups created. This is your backup scheme. Now to get this thing working, come down here, bottom right-hand corner where it says off, click on that. That then activates this. You can choose a full backup or incremental or differential. I'll normally do a full backup the first time I do a backup of a folder or a drive and then incremental after that. What this does is the full backup backs up everything and then in your later backups, the incremental will just back up things that have changed since your previous full backup. And then once a month, I'll do a new full backup. So full backup once a month and in between times, incremental backups. And you can have Minitool Shadow Maker retain the last number of versions in here. You can choose how many you want to have saved. The default is three. What happens here is once you get to three and you do your next backup, it then erases the earliest backup for your next backup. So it's a very safe way to always have at least two or three versions in there that you can work with. You also can schedule your backups. Again, same thing, bottom right-hand corner, click that on button, and you can then set this up for daily, weekly, monthly, or on specific events. Here's daily doing every one hour, two, three, four, and so forth, or starting at a specific time. Very easy to schedule that. Turn that one off. Back up here to backup options. That's all set. Let's now choose OK. That sits in those options. Then down here we can backup now or backup at a later date. I'll do the backup now. It's a small folder. It'll go pretty fast. Choose OK. And it's handling that backup right now. And there we go. Successful backups will have a green icon left hand side over here. If there's a problem with the backup, you'll have a red icon. So it's easy to see if they're successful or not. You can do the same backup again. Just click on backup now. And you can check out the date and time that the backups were made. And you can choose a full incremental or differential at that point. Also over here, these little three dots allows you to work with this backup. You can verify the backup. That just goes through to double checks the source and destination files, make sure they're accurate. You can see what's in there. You can restore from that backup. You can mount the backup and then it works like a drive, making it easy to drag and drop from your backup. If you do mount your backup, it's a good idea to unmount it when you're through. And you can edit your schedule and your scheme if you want to. So as you can see, very easy to run. And this is in the Manage tab, as you see over here, left-hand side. You also can choose to have the computer shut down when it is finished running any backup tasks. Very useful if you're setting this thing up at the end of the day and you want it to back up during the evening or night and then be shut down when it's finished. Now to restore a backup, as you go over here to Restore, choose the backup you want to restore from. Let's just take this one right here. It's our top one. Click on Restore. 
If there are several versions, you'll see those in here. You can then choose your version by the date and time. Let's choose next. Backing up to our C drive, choose next. You put our destination path, browse in that C drive and put it right there. Choose OK and then start. Again, if you want to, you can shut your computer down when it's finished. We're not going to bother with that. And that's now been backed up and choose finish. So that easy to restore. Now, if you're doing a full backup, I always recommend to back up to an external hard drive as opposed to an internal hard drive. That way, if you need to, you can put it into a different location and make it even safer. The best way to do backups is to have three copies of your backup. A backup on your computer, a backup that's outside of your computer, like a removable hard drive, and a backup in a different location. That way, you're completely safe. Sync allows you to sync up two folder locations. It just matches the files from the source to the destination to make sure they are the same. You will have logs of all of your actions right down here. This is the last 24 hours of my actions. These were all successful. And then down in tools, a few more tools in here. There is that dismount I mentioned. If you mount a restore and you want to just drag and drop from that, I recommend dismounting that when you're finished. You can build a boot media right over here. So if you want to, you can set up a boot drive on a USB stick or a CD or DVD. You can add a boot menu to boot into the Shadow Maker Restore system instead of your regular boot. You can clone disks. This is really nice if you're upgrading your computer to a larger size hard drive, or maybe you're going from a physical hard drive to an SSD or a solid state drive. With PXC, you can have several computers boot from the same network location. And with remote, you can backup and restore remote PCs on the same network. And there's another tool over here called System Booster. This is a separate download, separate tool from the Shadow Maker. Back up here to home again. And one more thing I want to point out, it's very easy to get help with this if you're having any problems. And that's these two buttons right up here. The first one takes you right to the Mini Tool Support Center. There it is with all their standard help facts in here. Very easy to get to that. And the second one over here, you can change your language from English, German to Japanese. And over here, you can check for updates and you also can go to their help system. Let's click on that. And here's the Shadow Maker user manual with several articles all about how to run the different parts of the mini tool Shadow Maker. Again, very easy to work with this tool and help is that close away and it's very good, very comprehensive help system. If you want to leave feedback, you can do that as well. So right down here, bottom left hand corner, there's a feedback button right there. So out of the different backup and restore utilities that I've tried, I like this one the best. I like its layout, I like its look, I like how easy it is to work and I've had absolutely no issues with this. It's very fast and does an excellent job for handling your backup jobs for your system. And again, getting into a habit of making scheduled backups is the best thing you can do to protect yourself from any kind of computer disaster. Now I'll put links for this in the description so you can get right to their website and you can get right to this program. I'll also link to the Minitool YouTube channel if you want to check that one out. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe as well and I'll see you next time.